Right. It's, it's comical to get economic advice from our, our socialist member. I think it's quite fascinating, Mr. Speaker, because I don't understand that, me that method of economics. It makes absolute no sense. But it, and then he contradicted himself when he said, well, they're not going to consult with teachers, although they might consult with their parents. Well, my golly, isn't that exactly what we want? And th those are the same folks that, that, that these kids don't have the, the ability or the moxie to discuss with their parents whether they can work or not, but they do have the moxie to discuss with their teachers whether they should have a sex change or not. So that's the bizarre logic that we get from our friends over on the left. And I want to tell you, I am grateful. I have been working for 53 years, and I am grateful, Mr. Speaker, that we didn't have all of this nonsense when I was young. We had, six we had six kids, eight people, live in a little tiny house with a single bathroom. And I've told some of, this, some of you this story, you've heard about it, because people sit there, I get lectures from folks on the other side, I think if you're going to talk about creating jobs, and for crying out loud, maybe you should have created a whole bunch. And if you're going to talk about tax policy, then I think you maybe should have filled them all out. Not just one each year for the state and the federal, but every single quarter, every single week, like most of us do on this side of the aisle. And so that's rich to me, Mr. Speaker, to, to have folks give us this nonsense that makes absolutely no sense. I'm dying to learn something new in this body, and it's hard to do, boy, because I'll tell you, I'm not getting much of it. But